Hey everyone, Joe here, and today we're going to be talking about a fantastic tool that you're going to be wondering how you live without for testing wires in your car. And that tool is right here. It's called a wire piercing probe or a wire piercing clip. So let's get started. This tool makes it super easy to test wires in your car. And the trick of it is with this thin needle. So let's say... I have a wire, I'm underneath the dash, and I'm curious to see what the voltage on this wire is. Using this tool to start, I pull down these plastic clips, and when, you, when I do that, you'll see a little needle here at the bottom. We're going to take the wire, we're going to slide this over, and then let go of the retainer. And then what we do here is, with this knob, we're going to be turning this, and it's actually pushing that needle into the wire. When you can't turn this knob anymore, or when you feel pretty good resistance, that means the needle is piercing this wire and you're now ready to make a measurement. You can use a test light, for example, and looking in here, you can see a little metal ring and you can just touch that test light to see if there's voltage there or not. You can even push on the outer end of that ring so it would stay in place, so if it's hanging underneath the dash, this can just hang there, leaving your hands to do something else. You could also do this with a meter probe. If you look at mine, I actually have a barrel around it, and this barrel can plug into this, and it does the same thing. It won't go anywhere, and it leaves your hands free to do something else. To show you how simple this tool really is, I'm gonna unscrew this knob and show you what it looks like inside. And once we're done unscrewing this, we can see that long needle that eventually pierces the wire and this spring which pushes back this retainer when we pull it down and let go. It really is a brilliant tool. I always use this tool when I'm testing wires in the car, but where it really shines is getting to a wire that's very difficult to access and I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. For example, let's say you're working on a remote start system and you need to get to the brake light wire. That wire is all the way up there by the brake pedal. That brake light wire is pretty far up the brake pedal, right by the brake switch. And if you look at my test light, it's very hard and very awkward to test that wire at the connector. So let's instead use our tool, pull down the retaining clip, slide it over the wire you want to test. We're over it now, and now we twist the knob on the bottom to poke the needle through, and just like that, we're ready to test. And here we have a close-up of how it looks. And here I am pushing the test light onto the bottom contact. I push the brake, it lights up. I know that's my wire. I Made mean, that super easy to test. If you want to get yourself the same piercer clips that I showed in this video, you can find them pretty easy on Amazon. It's called the Pomona 6413, and it can handle wire gauges from 22 to 14. And for this listing, it comes as a pair. One's black and one's red. This helps to match your meter leads up nicely. And it still has the same profile as mine. These are extremely durable. I've had mine for about eight years now. It has cuts, it has scratches. It's probably been squished by a car a few times. It still mechanically performs. I can still get a solid electrical connection. I really recommend these. And for 40 bucks, I think it's a fair price given how durable they really are. The next set I do suggest are these ones from Power Probe. I don't actually own them, but I have used them in the past in other shops. They're a little different than the Pomona ones that I've shown before. If you can see here, there's two kinds, a green and a yellow one. This green one here handles smaller gauge wire. This yellow one here handles larger gauge wire. And if you do the range together, they can go from 28 to 8 gauge wire. The key difference between the one that I have and these here is that these are actually screw tensioned. So there's no spring in here. It's just a screw that pushes the needle and the retainer onto the wire. This is pretty good to make a more reliable connection for stiffer wire or for cold weather. If you do want to use a meter with these, you can with this adapter here. And for 1915, it's it's a pretty good buy. I do recommend these. The last set of clips I want to talk about are these ones from Electronic Specialty 619. I've never used them before and I actually don't own a pair myself, but from what I can tell they look pretty similar to the Pomona ones. They have this black piece where you can push down this retainer ring and it even looks the same at the end, the same color coding. Only difference is the color plastic. However, I don't know how durable they are, and I don't know how good they are in terms of electrical connectivity, 
but if you want to give them a shot for eight dollars cheaper for the same form factor it, it may be worth a shot and if you do happen to get them and they work out please let me know thank you so much for watching this video if you found it helpful in any way please give it a like consider subscribing to my channel i plan on releasing a video at least once a week if you have any questions please leave them in the comment below